Number seven from the 2015 New Hire Paper One. Four mark question. Finding the value of a derivative of some expression involving roots and denominators. And that's maybe the first, and that's 23 marks now so far. And they've all been really straightforward. That's maybe the first one maybe where it just gets a wee bit tricky. Maybe, maybe not. Because you can't just differentiate that the way it is. It needs to be in differentiable form, which is separate terms. It's not the function of the function. It's not a chain rule. Because the only chain rule ones you know are where you have to evaluate the inside first before the outside can get an answer. And those forms are only an inside function with a power or an inside function and then a sine or a cosine. So this is a product. This is a multiplication. You need to multiply it out. It needs to be an index form. Well, so this first bit, you could either write it all in index form, first of all, or you could just leap straight in. Depends how brave you are, I suppose. Remember, the square root of x will be x to the power of half. That's x to the power 1. So that'll be 3, which won't change. x to the power a half plus 1 is 1 and a half, but it has to be written as 3 upon 2. In the next one, you might look at this and think, oh, no, I don't like doing that. We just did it there, though, didn't you? I don't like doing that, but you don't need to because you can just think of that root x as cancelling out that root x. And then you're just left with minus 2 over x. So it's minus 2 x to the negative 1. And that's the first mark. Getting it into a form suitable for differentiation. The variables have to be on top in index form. Then differentiate it. Multiply by the power. 3 times 3 upon 2 will be 9 upon 2. Take 1 off the power, but since it's in halves, you have to take 2 halves off of that, so it drops back down to a half. And that gets you a mark. Second one, multiply by the power. Negative 2 times negative 1 will be a plus 2. Take 1 off the power, drops down to negative 2. And that gets you a mark. So in fact, there were two marks there. And the last part's for evaluating it. So what's the value at 4? Well, I think I'll put these things back the way they were for the sake of the evaluation. Index form to differentiate. Index form to integrate. But to solve equations and evaluate them, you need to have them stated the way that you want to work them out or use them. So what's that? That's 9 upon 2 times the square root of 4 plus 2, negative 2 over 4 squared is what you're working out. And that actually works out quite nicely because that's 2. 2 into 2 goes 1. So you've got 9 plus, and that's 16. 2 over 16 is an eighth. So you've got 9 plus an eighth, which is a mixed number. So you could just say it's 9 and an eighth, whichever you like. Oh, in fact, I'll just go for that since they've gone for that anyway. So f dash 4 is 9 and an eighth, and that's the fourth mark. Now, what's odd in that marking scheme is quite often when you've got numbers like this, they give the answers as single fractions, as improper fractions. But there's no mention of a mark being available for it, but I'm pretty sure it would be if you decided to say that was 72 plus 1 is 73 upon 8, if you had a preference for single fractions.